Guys, I think I've just spotted a bathhead. What a snake. Do you want to lose it now? So we've been walking with Wawan here and he's just found an adult puff snake which is really really cool. So I'll be able to show you guys an adult and a juvenile. And you can see the difference. It's a nice long snake already. A little bit duller colors than the adults and then the juveniles. But that's very cool. Well done Wawan. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're in North Sumatra in a little village just alongside the Lucia ecosystem. And I went out herping last night and we found some of these beautiful little snakes. This is Homalopsis bucata, the puff-faced water snake or the masked water snake. A really incredible little species, well adapted to a very aquatic lifestyle, uh, living around river streams and river beds and river banks, lakes and dams. So very well adapted to, to their environment and absolutely incredible to see these little species of snake. They've actually got really, really small little eyes, so they probably use a lot of their vibrations within the water to be able to de detect um, prey movement when the little prey items come past their little hole. They'll strike out, constrict the prey and swallow it down. Uh, mostly sea snakes or your venomous uh, aquatic species of snakes. Most of your freshwater snakes are harmless species, so not a problem to be able to handle these guys. Um, they're thought to be aggressive, but I, from my experience, they seem to be quite calm. Uh, probably majority of the time people encounter these snakes is uh, they get caught in fishing nets or they're eating people's little fish, so it's never a pleasant experience, so the snake can often lash out when being released from a net or caught in a net or being removed in a more aggressive way because it's eating their fish stocks. But it's a really relaxed and nice and calm snake. Really amazing to be able to work with this, with this cute and unique little snake. You can see here why it's called a little puff-faced water snake. It's really got this like almost stubby, shortened little nose. It almost looks a bit anaconda-ish. Um, this really short little stubby nose. It's really cute now. This, this particular individual is in shed, so she's not displaying her beautiful colors, but their color variations are quite dramatic. Uh, from you have this, like you can see in this individual in the juvenile, you have this black and creamy banding, but the banding can vary a lot from oranges to yellows, and then the black can vary from uh, grays to silver to almost black. But a really, really beautiful little snake. Uh, living in and around streams and rice paddies, whether it's man-made or natural, at lower elevations, lowland rainforests, across Southeast Asia, from Burma, Myanmar, Thailand, down into Sumatra and, Dra and Java. So widespread little species of water snake inhabiting little bodies of water and feeding on all sorts of aquatic species. So puff-faced water snakes are oviviparous, meaning they give birth to live young, the young will develop internally within the mother and after a couple of months she'll give birth to live young. They'll come out little carbon copies of their parents and ready to hunt and do their thing. At small sizes they'll be maybe eating small crustaceans and tadpoles and things like that. Once they get a little bit larger they'll start taking bigger fish species, uh, swamp eels and maybe even some crayfish and things like that. It'd be really cool to be able to see these guys in the hunt. I saw one last night waiting in ambush, sticking his head out of a, a little hole. So these guys aren't able to actually dig holes. They'll find refuge within rocks in the riverbed, or they'll use other animals' holes, such as crayfish and swamp eels, and they'll wait in ambush with the rest of their body inside, and just their head and neck sticking out, coming up for occasional air uh, every 15 to 20 minutes, so they can hold their breath for quite an extended period of time and they'll wait there in ambush for something to swim past, grip onto it with their little recurved teeth because a lot of their prey items are quite slippery. So they've got good little teeth to be able to hold onto that and they'll constrict it and swallow it down. So very, very cool little snakes. 
nocturnal species that can be found during the day basking, but they are primarily nocturnal. So don't often get to see them unless you're actually walking around the rice paddies at night. These snakes will often be predated on by other snakes. You have cobras out here, king cobras, spitting cobra. So these guys will be feeding on, well they'll be eaten by those types of snakes as well as birds and probably big fish as juveniles like this guy will get eaten by a nice big tilapia or, what other, or a snakehead or any other big fish species. So they're kind of in the middle, a little bit of an apex predator within their niche but also a food source for other animals. So on that note guys, we're going to get ready to release these guys but if you like this video, please do hit the subscribe button Hit that notifications bell and remember to stand for what we stand on. It's time to release this beautiful little guy back into the little stream. So here we go.